So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, okay, I'm going to San Diego, and I'm going to be living in this house full of badass entrepreneurs who are doing epic shit, like with like some, anywhere from 20 and 50 employees. And I'm going to live in this house, and I got to bring my dog, and they have a dog, and they're, they're going to play with, and we're just going to fucking party all day long and have a blast and do amazing things and talk about changing the world in the ways that we want to. And I get to live in this house free. And he was even like, hey, yeah, dude, come on down. I got a room for you. You can stay for the month or however long you want. I even got a car that you can borrow, okay? And so I want to talk about what led to that. I want to trace everything back, all the way back, to the very first book that I read, which is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So let's talk about, let's, 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 I'm going to chain this for you. This is San Diego. So Tony Robbins, um, has anybody not heard of Tony Robbins? Raise your hand if you've not heard of Tony Robbins. Okay, good, so a few people. So Tony Robbins is like the uh, personal success coach. Like, you can do it. Um, he would probably hate me for saying that. He doesn't like being called a motivational coach, motivational speaker, but he's like, like Adam, if you were Tony Robbins, would that not be like the temp shit for you? Yeah, Tony Robbins is amazing. Um, Tony Robbins says, it's in, the, it's in the moments of decision that your destiny is formed. Like, it's in the moments of your little decisions that the rest of your life is shaped. So like, I wanna talk about the little decisions I made up to San Diego so you can think about the decisions you're making now and where they might lead. This might actually creep you out more than help you, but I think it's actually really helpful. Um, I haven't actually ever done this before. Um, so San Diego, if you trace back, um, I went to an event called Awesomeness Fest. This is basically a conference of 250 entrepreneurs, invite only. You have to apply to get in, they interview you, they accept you, and then you go. And it was in Maui, Hawaii, and you basically party all week with a bunch of other great people who like meditate sp into spirituality, into game-changing entrepreneurship products. <laughs> so Awesomeness Fest, I, at Awesomeness Fest, I met the most beautiful woman in the world, Tiffany Leon. She's 38, she's black, she's bald, and she's gorgeous. And, um, and I met her there, and that's what led me to Africa, all from Awesomeness Fest. And um, the reason that I got into Awesomeness Fest is invite only, like, it's not that hard to get in. You could get in if you want to, but I just happen to know the guy that who created it from another mastermind group that I'm in. So we'll call this a mastermind group that I'm in. And I'm in this mastermind group because I was introduced to a guy named Clay Collins. And um, Clay Collins invited me to join this mastermind group. So Clay and I are good friends. And then um, I was introduced to Clay Collins from Andy Drish. And Andy Drish is getting much closer to me now. I actually room with Andy Drish, we live together. And I was introduced to Andy Drish from Adam Carroll. And I was introduced to Adam Carroll from Brett Fine. And I was introduced from Brett Fine because I read a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And then after Rich Dad, Poor Dad, oh, okay. So I met Brett Fine at a, at a cash flow board game group. Has anybody ever heard of the great game cash flow? Okay, awesome. Yeah, Pascal, yeah. Good, so um, this game called Cash Flow, it's like Monopoly on steroids. Teach you how to get out of the rat race. It's pretty cool. It's, yeah, it's fun, right? It's way it's awesome. It's a really simple game. Yeah, they simplify it a little bit too much. Like I, some of my friends played it, they're like, oh yeah, this is so easy. We're out of the rat race now. Yeah, let's go do this in the real world. They were giving me lots of shit for playing it, but those, those go down with the naysayers. So Cash Flow, and then Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And then I can trace back from Rich Dad Poor Dad, I was sitting in a college class, and I was like sitting over here on the left side of the room, and I'm sitting there, and there's a magazine on the floor, and the professor's talking about like computers and servers and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I should go pick up that magazine. He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the most fun class. And um, I was like, well, I'll wait for the class to end. Eh, nah, screw it. So I just stood up, I walk it up, and the professor turns and looks at me, and like the whole class is looking at me, and I'm just kind of like walking, like pretending like nobody sees me, and I sit back down, and he's like, are you done? I'm like, yes, he continues. Um, <laughs> So uh, I get home and I read that magazine and it talks about the, the, the chick who won the second apprentice for the Donald Trump show, the second apprentice. And she's like, yeah, my life was going along this, this, this path and all of a sudden I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and my life changed. And I was like, whoa, books can change your life? I had no idea. So I went out and picked up Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So I actually could trace back to that college classroom, which would trace back to going to Iowa State, which would trace back, we won't go any farther than that. But um, so a lot of people read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Not very many people go on to play cash flow, okay? Um, I look read Rich Dad Poor Dad. I, I went to the website. I started like looking it up. I wanted to be, meet more people that met, uh, had read Rich Dad Poor Dad. So, so I went to Cash Flow. And at the Cash Flow group, I found the person that I thought I would like the most, which was Brett Fine. And I started talking with him. And I said, hey, Brett, would you like to start a book club? We can meet every week and read books and talk about them. He says, yes. So I created that book club. And then we'd meet at the mortgage company, which Brett Fine worked for Adam Carroll. And so 
I came one time and uh, Adam Carroll and Brett Fine and one other guy were all drinking beers before our book club. And so I sat down with Adam and met him there at, the, at, at, his, at his mortgage company. And then after hanging out with Adam Carroll for a while, he introduced me to Andy Drish. Andy Drish, Clay Collins. Clay Collins is mastermind group. As mastermind group, I meet Vishen Lakiani, which is like one of the greatest entrepreneurs on the planet. I'm so lucky that he actually likes me enough to invite me to Awesomeness Fest. And then at Awesomeness Fest, I meet the guy that lives in San Diego. And so this all chain of events happens. And it all started, excuse me, all started with Rich Dad Poor Dad and me looking for, like how many of you read a great book and then it never just stops there? You don't ever like try and do anything more with it. Like, this is your hint. Warren Buffett read The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. He said like the most important book of his life, which you might not know, is after Warren Buffett read that, he reached out to Benjamin Graham and asked if he would mentor him. He did. Warren Buffett is now today who he is. So when you read great books and you like that author, reach out to them. Not only do authors love it when, they, when you do, so many people read a guy's book and never thank him for it. It's like the greatest thing in the world. People thank you for your book, you love it. And how many people read it that don't say thank you? So, a lot, right? 